goal for the city of Corpus Christi to reduce traffic deaths and injuries. And new this morning, Corpus Christi council members approved four safety improvement projects. And of course, our Sunrise reporter Cordero McMurray spoke to people and businesses in the area about the proposal. I spoke with the Johnson family and they say they're happy the city will make safety improvements. Just up and down here on South Staples Street, between Dottie Street and Driftwood Street, they told me hopefully with these safety improvements, drivers will slow down. Because they're always speeding also. Sandy's Diner is on the same street where the city will start construction at one of the locations. Owner Sandra Clark says when parents pick up their kids and drive past her business, they need to be aware, especially during rush hour. There's a, a lot of people picking up kids, a lot of different schools not just one school, but um, I, I trust the city to uh, get the construction done, make it safe. It'll be a lot safer for the kids crossing over from Hamlin Middle School. The city says the proposed safety enhancements will include high visibility pedestrian crosswalk with a raised median, warning signs, and flashing beacons to improve safety in school zone and crossings. Here's where they will happen. Everhart Road between Holly Road and South Shea Parkway, Gallagher Road between Helen Street and Green Grove Drive, South Staples Street between Dottie Street and Driftwood, and McArdle Road between Clare Drive and Nile Drive. Nina says she lived in the area for over 20 years and says kids dart out in the street a lot, making these updates necessary. They don't pay attention to the lights. I don't know what it is that we have to do in order for them to slow down. I'll honk at them if I'm at the stop sign. The city says most of the money for the project comes from the Federal Highway Safety Improvements Program. Bidding on the construction projects is scheduled in April. I'm Cordero McMurray, Chris, Six Sunrise.